Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Back in for another video. And now we're doing the great uh, Canada dictator that is going to be probably the next Hitler. Well, going to start being the next Hitler. Let's get right into the video. You'll, you'll see. Trudeau announces national plan to freeze importing, importing, buying, or selling handguns. The legislation will stop just short of banning guns altogether. We recognize that the vast majority of gun owners use them safely and in accordance with the law, Trudeau said during uh, Prince Monday. But other than using firearms for sport, shooting, and for hunting, there is no reason anyone in Canada should need guns in their everyday lives. Oh, yeah, you know, you know, for self-defense. You know, to defend themselves from people like you, the dictators, the lunatics. Yeah, let's let's just allow that to happen, eh? This is what you get, Canada. This is what you get. We can uh can go through his video here and kind of see what he says, and then we get uh, get concerned. We're introducing legislation to implement a national freeze on handgun ownership. What this means is that it will no longer be possible to buy, sell, transfer, or import handguns anywhere in Canada. In other words, we're capping the market for handguns. As a further part of this new legislation, we're also fighting gun smuggling and trafficking by increasing maximum criminal penalties and providing more tools for law enforcement to investigate firearm crimes. And we'll require the permanent alteration of long gun magazines so they can never hold more than five rounds. These are actions that doctors, experts and chiefs of police have been calling for for years and we're acting on their advice. I also want to thank the advocates, many of whom are here today, for your tireless efforts. I know that for too many of you, Greece, grief and loss are at the root of the work that you do. I want to recognize that, and on behalf of all Canadians, I want to thank you for your strength. Merci. Yeah, I don't think all Canadians agree with you, buddy. I don't think a single one agrees with you. By the way, that's that's not going to stop the actual amount of people getting guns illegally. Just because you ban said guns does not mean the guns that you that that are gotten, which would be illegal, which creates the black market. You pretty much created a massive black market for people to own guns illegally. So what essentially what you've done, Trudeau, is that you removed the rights to the defense of Americans that want have that need to defend themselves to the actual criminals that are just going to get guns anyways. Like in Sacramento, the guns that they had were illegal and they were also illegally modified. You cannot get rid of that because they were all illegal and gotten from the black market. So therefore, they're going to get it from the black market, and that's how that works. Good job. Now I'm going to really like to see on how bad the actual crime rate skyrockets in Canada now due to the fact that now people can't actively defend themselves because you wanted to ban guns. By the way, Hitler did this, by the way. He did this by removing guns from the citizens and controlling the people. And then the people couldn't fight back. And the only way that the people were able to fight back was an act in a world war that were able to make the people fight back. It's up to you people, the Canadians, to fight back against this tyrannical government that wants to take away all your rights, especially your right to defend yourself. But considering Canadians are, you know, what I would call idiots, they decided to invite, uh, vote this guy back in. And now all your rights are starting to be destroyed. Slowly but surely destroyed. 
And uh, now I know Joe Biden wants to do the same thing, saying that nine nine millimeter gun um, rounds are gonna that will explode the, explode the lung. Okay, are we talking about uh, fifty cal bullets or anything that's higher grade? Nine mm is like a, it's like one of the lower grade bullets that you can use. All right, it's not like it's not like one of the strongest uh, ones there. By the way, it doesn't matter what type of grade of ammo that you're using, anyways, to stop a perpetrator from attacking you. If it stops the person in their tracks, it stops the person in their tracks, and it stops them from actively wanting to hurt you. So again, another thing, and another thing he also says that the uh, that Joe Biden would go on to say that. Uh, that that we were never allowed to have can cannons or whatever. You apparently haven't read the Second Amendment because you're an old batted fool, along with the rest of the people that don't that un don't understand history or anything about our American history, which we should probably incorporate back into our schools, by the way. That we were able to have cannons, handguns. Uh, God, we used to have freaking war machine like a. Uh, uh, battleships like we were able to have anything because that's what the second amendment were or was i say was because apparently they people want to erode the second amendment because 19 kids died and it happened to be to the fault of not actual weapons but the people that were supposed to defend the people to help we have actively seen to where people want to defend themselves or the government trying to defend the people have not defended the people. What happened in Texas should have never have happened because if the police actually were doing their job, no lives would have been taken. Maybe except one, which would be the active shooter that was trying to kill someone, that was trying to kill people. Which he succeeded, by the way, which was the cowardice of the cops. <sighs> the bill we just tabled represents a milestone amidst a long and difficult battle which takes place on our streets every single day. Medicino said during the press conference, it's a battle which has claimed too many lives, living empty chairs at the dinner table and empty desks in our classrooms. Which is effectively going to increase that amount because people now know that there is no weapons and people will still die. More people will die. There will be a rise in gun sales through the black market. And due to this, even if you say you're going to crack down on the black market, you're not going to crack down on the black market, all right? It's just not going to work. So you'd remove the right to defend themselves from the citizens. Guess what, Canada, Canadians? If you actually want freedom, you know what? Never mind, never mind. Don't come here. Don't come here. Fix your own shit. Don't come to my state. Or to my country. At least my country at least has our rights still. I don't want you idiots coming from your country and, and acting the same type of BS that you want to incorporate from your country to mine. Yeah, no, never mind. Just stay there where you belong. Fix your own damn mess. I do not want my actual right to defend myself removed because you people are too emotional. The report says that in addition to the National Free Zone sales, the bill also includes other measures such as taking away firearms license from those involved in domestic violence or criminal harassment, increasing criminal penalties for smuggling and trafficking of firearms, and a red flag law which will require people deemed a threat to themselves or others to turn in their firearms to law enforcement. Which, oh, okay, which is an insanity. And also, by the way, increasing criminal penalties for smuggling or trafficking firearms? is not going to stop the criminals. They're already doing that. So increasing the actual penalty does nothing. They're still going to do it. They're still going to shoot. They're still going to kill. That's not going to be for anyone. He even said that the vast majority of people use it to defend themselves. You contradicted your own statement, you absolute lunatic. Oh my god. The government expects to begin the buybacks before the end of the year. It's going to be hard, but we're going to get it done, Medina so said. If, pa if passed, the legislation will go into effect in the fall. The full press conference can be viewed here. Well, hopefully it does not pass, but knowing you guys, it will most likely will. Ha! <laughs> uh, you guys, this is... This is your guys' fault. This is Canadians' fault. Remember, guys. Remember the U.S.
the people that want to defend themselves, which, by the way, it's not going to look like it's going to happen in the U.S. because it's been going up by a good margin in the U.S. for um, handguns and constitutional rights. But there in Canada, yeah, good luck. I you know I used to want to visit Canada because, you know, I always found it, a, found it to be a very pretty place. I still find it to be a very pretty place. But, you know, due to this, it doesn't seem like uh, I'm going to be visiting anytime soon. Uh, I don't feel like going to a chronicle dictator uh, place. Well, Canadians, have fun! That's it for the video, guys. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.